Good evening. Good evening, good people. I know it's late. It's way past my advertised time frame, but I've got a good reason. This is your girl, Jackie Denise, and I'm so happy to be sitting here before you on tonight for just a brief few minutes. I didn't get on earlier this evening because I'm practicing what I preach. Hey there, woman of God. Hey there. I'm practicing what I preach as it relates to self-love and self-care, Cynthia. It's so good to see you. Thank you for stopping by the diving board this time of night, you guys. will only be a few minutes, I promise. But I practice this evening self-love and self-care. My daughter invited me out for a movie date, a movie time tonight. And so I felt led to say, you know what? I'm going to go and enjoy my beautiful butterfly of a daughter. So we went to the theater and we had some dinner. We had some snacks and so forth. And we just had a wonderful time, Lady Catherine. But you know what? I wanted to still jump on for just a few minutes to share a simple thought with you all. And the thought that I desire to share on tonight is bingo. Bingo. Bingo, baby, bingo. Any, anybody ever played bingo before? Anybody ever been to an event, been at a family gathering, been at a party or something, and you're playing bingo? You might have one card. You might have multiple cards. You might have a stamp. I used to have a cousin way back in the day who's now enjoying heaven, but she was an expert bingo player. She went to the bingo like every single week. Her car was full of markers, blue color, this color, those big fat markers. She loved bingo. Well, guess what? I was driving home from Sunday worship service in Durham. As I went up the highway, God loves to talk to me when I'm driving that highway, you guys. As I drove up the highway home, I saw a big billboard and it had one word on the billboard. And the one word said, bingo. And when I saw that, I just was like, wow. Because, this is the reason I was like, wow. I instantaneously heard the Holy Ghost speak. I saw the word on the billboard. Big, it was the only word, you know, all the way majorly across the top. And then it had an exclamation mark right behind the capital letters, bingo. And the Holy Spirit said to me, I want you at the first opportunity, the next opportunity, I want you to give my people a message from me. And I'm like, wow, my God, I, it dropped on me just like that in 10 seconds flat. Believe in new godly opportunities <laughs> believe in new godly opportunities b-i-n-g-o don't tell me that wasn't the holy ghost the word bingo b-i-n-g-o my eyes saw it and my mind received an instantaneous download from the holy spirit a gift for you all tonight a gift it is a gift when you're playing bingo and you win, you get to call out, bingo! And if you're the first one to call it out, to raise your hand up, you can get a prize. It might be cash money. It might be some kind of surprise gift wrapped object for you. But you get some kind of a gift. When the Lord said to me, bingo, believe in new. Let me stop right there. I keep saying it. This is a record-breaking year. I hope that you have received that in your spirit because it is true. And in this new record-breaking year that we find ourselves in, just Sunday, three days ago, the Holy Spirit says, believe. You got to believe. Believe for yourself, not just for everybody else. But believe for yourself, believe for your life, believe what you have in your heart. Believe in new, new. I don't know if that's 
brand spanking fresh new off the press. I don't know if that's a do over for somebody. I don't know if something's going to be reworked for somebody. I don't know how God is going to do, going to perform, going to provide, going to reveal, going to unveil the new. But I know I heard God. And if God said it, believe in new godly. Hey, every opportunity that can come to us is not always godly. We've got to have the wisdom, the discernment, the maturity, the gumption to be able to tell the difference. That's why he specified. He didn't say just believe in new opportunities. The Holy Spirit, Annette, said believe in new godly. Believe in new godly opportunities. B-I-N-G-O. Bingo, baby. I want to say to everybody on this diving board right now and everybody who will dive during a replay moment, you are about to get the prize tonight. You are about to win something. Hallelujah. And it's going to make you smile. It's going to make you giggle. Ha, 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 ha. I don't know what it's going to be, but the Holy Spirit very clearly and succinctly said, believe in new godly opportunities. And I just literally heard the blessings of the Lord maketh what? Somebody put it in the chat for me. The blessings of the Lord maketh what? They make it rich. The blessings of the Lord, that's that godly opportunity. If it's the blessing of the Lord, it's going to make rich and add no sorrow. Hey, that's it. I see somebody with me tonight. The blessings of the Lord. Believe in new B-I-N-G-O, bingo, baby, bingo, bingo, bingo. You're it, tag, you're it. Believe in new godly opportunities. What's an opportunity? An opportunity is a chance. An opportunity is an open door. An opportunity is a creative force. An opportunity is favor, grace, possibility. Bingo, baby, bingo. God in his infinite ability to be omnipresent, to be sovereign, to be, to be uh, the, the creator of all. He has the ability to make everybody win, bingo, all at the self-same time. When he showed me the billboard, I felt something leap on the inside because I knew that the Holy Spirit was speaking to me. And see, God has not spoke. He's, well, let me take that back. He first started speaking to me in acronyms many, many years ago. He would just drop a whole acronym on me in the drop of a dime. And recently that is coming back upon me. And that's what happened to me Sunday on the drive home. Billboard, biggest light. I can, day, I can see it right now. It was red. The blood of Jesus is red. Ha, my God. And guess what? Woo, I'm hearing God. I'm hearing God. The blood of Jesus is red. That's the bingo for you. The bingo, the winning hand, the winning card, the hand up bingo on the Lord's side for godly opportunities. That's God's favor, grace, and mercy working for you. Red doesn't just equate to the blood of Jesus. Red also equates to a stop sign. Can I tell somebody on this diving board tonight before bedtime that not only is God giving you a green light go, bingo, hey, hey, bingo, but the stop sign, the red 
red, if we reverse it, it stands for a stop sign. He's going to stop the forces of hell from overtaking you. He's going to stop the plan of the enemy from overthrowing you. He is going to stop, my God, every missile that gets sent your way. He's stopping it with a bingo. Believe in new godly opportunities. B-I-N-G-O. Boom, 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 boom. Gave it to me just like that. Tell my people, bingo. Believe in new godly opportunities. All I came on very quickly to say is this. According to your faith, be it unto you. God is giving you a secret weapon. He's giving you a heads up, Lady Catherine. He is giving you a heads up about his plan concerning you. He is seeing you with your hands up in the air, in the game hall, full of people, but you're the only one. Every last one of you on this diving board right now get to be the only one yelling bingo. Thank you so much, Annette. Believe in new godly opportunities. Bingo. It's going to be new. It's going to be godly with no sorrow attached to it. It's going to be an opportunity like never before. But if you loop it back around to the beginning, to the B, you're going to have to believe. The only way, the caveat, the only way that it's going to happen, going to take place, you're going to first, the B, the bingo, B in bingo. The first letter is B, believe. If you do not believe, you will not receive. <laughs> if you do not believe, even though God wants to grant you new godly opportunities, if you don't believe, you cannot receive. So I just stopped by the diving board tonight really, really quickly and briefly just to tell somebody that God's got something for you. There is something coming. There is something happening. There is something that is taking shape, taking form. There is something that is turning completely all the way around. There is something that is leaping over everybody else to land in your lap. To land in your hands. To land on your plate. There is something coming for you. It's a bingo. Believe in new godly opportunities. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm here for it. I, I told God when he gave it to me on the highway Sunday and I saw it and I received the download just like that, almost simultaneously, even while driving one hand on the steering wheel, I lifted the other hand up in the air and I said, God, I'm here for it. I don't know about you, but I'm here for it. Whatever God wants to drop on me, I'm here for it. Whatever he wants to entrust in my life, I'm here for it. Wherever he wants to take me in this season, I'm here for it. Ha! I'm here for it. Whatever you want to do in this season, God. As Bishop Paul Morton saying so long ago, please don't do it without me. That's a bingo. I'm paying attention. I'm postured and I'm positioned. If he says to move, I'm going to be ready to move because I'm not going to miss my moment. I'm not going to be distracted. You know how it is when you're playing bingo, if you recall, or if you still do. When they call out B-53, B-55, I-18, sometimes you miss it. What, what did they say? What did they call out? What was the number? Was it a G or was it a B? Remember? Remember how we played bingo? Well, listen, babies, listen. In this season, in this moment, in this hour that we're in, God ain't playing. This is a metaphor. Bingo. Believe in new godly opportunities. But guess what? You're going to have to catch it on the fly. I preached that before. You're going to have to catch it on the fly. You're going to have to be sharp. You're going to have to be paying attention. You're going to have to have your, your little your little things, you know, the little circle things, your little markers. You're going to have to have them in your hand ready. 
Janelle, do you understand what I'm saying? Monche, do you get it, girl? You're going to have to have your little buttons ready, your little pieces of scrap paper ready, your little uh, pennies ready, whatever you're using to be able to quickly put the marker on the right B18, I-53, N-17, G-5, O-4. You're going to have to keep up with God. Who's going to be calling out your name? Who's going to be calling out instructions and directions? So what does this say? I'm going to end with this because this is not long tonight. <clears throat> what I will say this means is this. Somebody on this diving board is being given a heads up to sharpen your ear gate. Sharpen your ear gate. The number way, one way you sharpen your ear gate is you got to have a relationship with God. You got to have a clear line of communication with God. So you got to shake the coochies off. You got to block out the distractions, you know, get you some woman king anointing and stuff. You got to block out the distractions. You got to command your flesh. Shake off the tiredness, shake off the exhaustion, shake off the brain fog. You got to get yourself all the way together. Because it's a bingo, baby. It's bingo night. That's what my cousin Mary Helen would say. I can't come over there. It's bingo night. It's bingo night. Hey, my shot. I want to say to somebody on the diving board, baby, it's bingo night. It's tonight. It's bingo night. Believe in new godly opportunities. It's bingo night. I was... I got home just a few minutes before, not even 10 minutes before I jumped on here. And I thought to myself, I'll just save this and maybe I'll just dive in the morning or dive tomorrow at lunchtime or something like that. But I believe in obeying the unction of the Holy Spirit. So I came my little happy self right on back downstairs. I got myself into position and I said, okay, God, let's go. Because I don't want to be a hindrance to anybody's blessing. I don't want to be a roadblock of anybody's opportunity. Because if God gives me something to release, ah, Le Mansa, that means that he's about to do that thing. Hey, I know my God. I know the words of which I say right now. Somebody better get ready. Get your ear gate sharp. Get the wax out of your ear. Hey, shout out to What's the wax, Jackie, Denise? The wax is all those other voices. The wax is emotional confusion. The wax is, oh my God, is ostination. The, the, black, the wax is anything that is anti-fruit of the spirit. The wax is irritants. The wax is little foxes. The wax is that yesterday's memory bank that's trying to hem you up today. Get the wax out of your ears so that you can clearly hear the letters and the numbers that are being called out. I just heard the Holy Ghost say, the letters and the numbers that are called out during a typical bingo game, listen, the letters and the numbers are a combination. They are a combination for you. They are some kind of access code for you. They're going to mean something to you. My God, when you hear the voice of the Lord, give these letters and numbers out calling out instructions and directions and such. When you hear it, if you're clear, if your ear is clear, if your channels are unclogged, you're going to hear and you're going to know what they mean and how to move and respond. I just don't want you to miss it. I don't want to miss it. I have no intention of missing it. Can you say the same? Are you with me? Can, are you getting this tonight? Somebody share this broadcast for me. Because somebody needs to catch this tonight before they go to bed because of what's coming tomorrow. Because something's coming. I can feel it. I know it is. That's why God said bingo. And the game can go on a, quite a while. 
Remember, the game can draw out quite a while before anybody yells out bingo. And then every now and then, from what I remember, two people might yell out bingo at the same time. Well, guess what? Listen, you both, whoever you are, all of you, you can all yell out bingo at the same time and you can all win at the same time. Nobody missing nothing. Everybody blessed. You just have to get it. You just have to believe. You just have to get it. And that's what I want for you. So before I go up and get my shower, you know, me and my daughter had an amazing time at the movies tonight. But before I go up now, because I feel like I'm ready to turn in, throat's feeling a little bit, you know, sniffles and stuff. But I'm good. I'll be all right. Just sign the stuff. But I feel like before I do all of that, I could not transition until I release, th release this nugget, release this message tonight, because somebody needs it. Somebody's been struggling. Somebody's been challenged. Somebody's been wondering, God, where you at? God, what's up with this? Somebody has been about thinking about at least throwing in the towel. I want you to keep your cards. Hold on to your cards just a little bit longer. Don't trade them out right now. You know how we do in bingo. These cards ain't hitting on five cents. Let me get me some more cards. Let me trade this out in between hands. Listen, stick and stay. God's working on something amazing and magnificent for you. So stick and stay. All right. I pray that you've heard something that has... Um, that has sparked something in you tonight. I pray that you receive some fuel to continue going on in this week. Oh, I appreciate that. And that's so, so real. Yes, God, he speaks to us in everyday ways that without a shadow of a doubt, if we have an ear to hear, we can get it and we can understand it. You understand what I mean? God simply wants you all to know that you're about to win. He's about to call out that last little spot that you need to feel in order to raise up your hand and yell out, bingo! And look around smiling and grinning in anticipation and excitement. God just wants you to hang in there, keep paying attention because he's getting ready to fill in that last little blank it doesn't matter if it's at the top of the card, if it's in the corner, if it's right in the center. Well, the center is the free space. Hey, my God, did somebody hear that? The center is the free space. It doesn't matter where the space needs to be filled in on that card. It may be uh, around where the whole card needs to be filled in and you're missing one last spot. Can I tell you with absolute certainty and assurance on tonight that God is, he's the bingo caller. He is in charge of this game. God is getting ready to call out what you need. Just get ready. Keep your markers in your hand. It's like those five smooth stones. Keep your markers in your hand and keep your fingers ready to fight. So you can quickly pick up what you need and put it down. Pick up what you need and put it down. And then shoot that hand up in the air. Bingo! Boom! Bow y'all. I got it. Now give me my prize. <laughs> I'm tickled pink. This is all I have for tonight. Glory to God. Thank you so much for stopping by the diving board on tonight. I pray that you've heard something sincerely. I pray you've heard something that has encouraged you. I don't want you to let discouragement cancel out your encouragement. Ha! Ha ya ta ta ka. Hold on to it. Fight for it. War for it. Stand on it. Remind God of it. Keep looking high. Keep believing in new godly opportunities so you can say without reservation or hesitation bingo and when you do that everybody else say oh man
man. And you just start laughing because it is what it is. It's your turn. It's your time. You're the winner of this round. You got this. Walk up to the bingo player. Show them what you got and get that prize. Hey, don't let it go. Get that prize and don't you let it go. It's a bingo night. <laughs> All right. I'm getting ready to turn in. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. I see um, Annette said, yes, God. I just said that free space is given to us. I praise God for the confirmation. I praise him for the confirmation. He knows our name. He knows where we are. He knows what we need. He knows what we desire. He knows what we're working on. He knows we're waiting on the phone call, waiting on the email, waiting on the text, waiting on the DM. He knows we're waiting on the yes and the amen sealed by the Holy Spirit with a guarantee. That's what I'm looking for. Every day, I'm just like this. Every day, I'm looking like this. Every day, I'm checking because you know why? Because I believe. I'm checking, I'm looking for it, I'm listening for it, I'm postured for it every day in this record-breaking year because I believe in what he said. Hallelujah. I hope you believe also. Believe. Hey there, big sis, Dr. Misty. You got to believe in exactly what he said. It's on the way. Bingo. 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 Hey, bingo, by, by way of a benediction on the diving board tonight, by way of a benediction, can everybody put bingo in the chat? Just, just, just as a prophetic decree, a prophetic declaration. Can everybody on the diving board just put bingo in the chat? And as you type bingo, clearly understand that the Holy Ghost said bingo stands for believe in new godly opportunities. That's your bingo. As you type it, something is coming through the atmosphere. I see it in the realm of the spirit. Yeah, I see it in the realm of the spirit. Yes, 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 I see it in the realm of the spirit. That's honorable shot. That's why the Holy Spirit had me to put that bull's eye up behind my topic tonight. That's a bull's eye. When you just put bingo in the chat, understanding that it means believe in new godly opportunities, you just sent something straight towards the bull's eye. And when you send it towards the bull's eye, if you can go with me in your imagination, it's an arrow that's being shot and it sticks and it stays. Huh? It sticks and it stays. I said it sticks and it stays. Yes. It sticks and it stays. It sticks and it stays. It sticks and it stays there until you go up with your right hand of authority and pull it out. In other words, you're in control of the frequency, the acceleration of which the bingo can be called. You got to keep up with God. Yeah, you got to keep up with God. You got to keep up with him. When he call it, if you miss it, ain't nobody obligated to tell you what the, what, what the caller called out. B-55, they're not going to tell you, especially if they want it for themselves. And that they're not kingdom minded. And don't understand that everybody can get it at the same time. They're not going to tell you, you got to get it for yourself. It's a situation likened unto the five wise versions and the five foolish versions. Baby, you best to go to Walmart or Target or the, 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 uh, the uh, uh, Sheets gas station or somewhere and get your own oil. In this season, God will give you helpers. But those helpers are only going to move in position when they see you trying.
going to first help yourself. This is the word from God. I, somebody must have needed that, that downloaded portion, so I released that. But in the name of Jesus, I speak blessings over you all. I speak blessings over you all. Yes, yes, yes. We got to have our own oil. We got to be able to call out our to respond. If our car says B55, you better be able to put a marker on your own B55 because ain't nobody else going to put it up there for you. Thank you so much, big sis Tammy. Nobody's going to put it up there for you because they too busy working their own fields. They busy working their own territory. Your cars are your territory. You're in charge. You're responsible. You're the first partaker. You should put your hands to the plow first. And God will send you help along the way. Yeah. All right. Good night, y'all. Good night. I'm about to retire. Um, got a busy, exciting day tomorrow. Thank God. About to retire. I'm blessing God for this word tonight. When he gave it to me on Sunday afternoon, I knew exactly what it meant. As soon as I saw it, bingo, the billboard and the Holy Spirit immediately said, uh, uh, believe in new godly opportunities. It was, it was for me first. It was for me first. That's why I kept my hand on one on the wheel, but with the other one, I said, God, I'm here for it. God, whatever it is, I'm here for it. Whatever it is, help me to stand up under it. Whatever it is, help me be able to, to, to stand the kabod, the weight of it, God. Whatever it is, Lord, I'm here for it. Driving in my car, me and God, I'm here for it, God. Where I need to go, what I need to do, what I need to give up, what I need to take off of my plate, what do I need to pick up? What do I need to do, God? Because I am here for it. I want in this record-breaking year that he has promised me. He has promised me a record-breaking year. And I believe the promise is extended to you all as well. That's why I keep speaking it and speaking it and speaking it. It is a record-breaking year. And then he told me, Believe, Jackie. Believe in new godly opportunities because it's a record-breaking year. The key is believe. Believe what, for what you ain't never seen. Believe in what you can't even articulate. Believe higher. Believe wider. God is correcting me and checking me to never devalue myself again. Not mentally, not emotionally, not financially, not relationally, not interpersonally. I'm going to end up the way I started off. I believe I started off this way tonight. We got to get our whole self together. All the way together. We got to get ourselves all the way together. Don't let no thing, nothing. Block your ability to 100,000% believe in new godly opportunities. God see you as a winner. I see you as a winner. I'm seeing myself as a winner like never before. You got to see yourself as a winner too. It's your time. It's your turn. Bingo. And you got to be quick about it. Cynthia, Dr. Misty, Janae, Lynn, you got to be quick about it. You got to be quick. If you're going to win and it's your time and it's your turn, you got to be ready to respond with the quickness. Bingo, 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 bingo. Let there be no mistake about it. I know that I'm looking at my card. And it says, bing, go. It shows, bing, go. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Now, God, what you got for me? What's the prize? What's the prize today? What's the prize this time? What you going to drop on me this month, God? What, what, what's, the, what's the creative thing you got for me today? What's the prize, God? Woo! 
What, what you got? What you got? What you got, daddy? What you got, daddy? What you got, daddy? Whatever you're doing in this season, God, please clean me up and get me all the way together so you don't even think about doing it without me because I'm a bingo girl. I'm a bingo girl. I'm a bingo girl. Bingo! I'm a bing. I'm gonna make sure they hear me. It was me. Bingo! Yes. In other words, be unapologetic about what you know to be true about yourself. To be true about your seed. To be true about your path. Be unapologetic about your voice, about your presence, about your influence, about your purpose, about your destiny. Be unapologetic. Bingo! I love y'all. I appreciate y'all for stopping by the diving board tonight. I love y'all. I'm going to tell you something. I believe in God. I believe in me. And I believe in you. I believe that we can all lift up our hands at the same time. Because see, I'm not selfish with it. God keeps growing me beyond myself. I'm not selfish with it. I like um, to, to eat ice cream with other folks. Cake tastes better with your friends. Pizza is better with buddies. I want us all to win. No crab mentality over here. No crab mentality over here. I want us all to win. I want us all to high five one another at the same time. I'm dapping you up in the spiritual realm right now. I'm dapping you up. Hey, 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 elbow, elbow, elbow. I'm dapping you up. Pink graffiti, I see you. Pink graffiti, Arabasa, I see you. God's got something special for whatever it is you've got your hands on in this season. Whether it's pink graffiti right now, even if you moved on to something else, Pink graffiti came out of you. So God is talking to you and you know I'm talking to you. But I hope you hear God and not me. But I hear the words pink graffiti. So I know that somehow in some way, Janae Lynn Judd is still living. Hey, Monday I basa. Keep, keep your cards. Y'all keep your cards. Stay woke. Pay attention. Get your ear gate right so you can hear the voice of the Lord clearly. All right. Good night. I'm about to go get me a shower. All right. Y'all sleep sweetly tonight. No nightmares. Sweet sleep only tonight. No, no disturbance. Unless it's the Holy Spirit. Sleep like babies. Wake up to a blessed, refreshed, powerful day on tomorrow. Full of peace, bliss, tranquility, and joy. That's the kind of day that I'm speaking over you for tomorrow. Y'all, thank you for hanging in here with me tonight. I thought I would be getting off a few minutes ago, a few minutes ago. But you know, we can't quench the Holy Spirit. We cannot quench the Holy Spirit. And I need to make sure that I give out everything that I'm supposed to give out tonight so I can sleep sweetly. And dream beautiful dreams or either no dreams at all. Hallelujah. I love y'all. Good night. Share the broadcast. And don't forget, if you have not uh, put bingo in the chat, it's imperative that you activate that. You activate that for yourself. Put bingo in the chat. I'm telling you that it's going to be an arrow. It's going to be a missile. The Holy Spirit is going to do something with that at your word. At your word, he's going to do something with that. And that's my word that he has promised me that he would do also. So put bingo in the chat if you have not already. I don't want you to miss anything that God wants to do. 
for you, in you, through you, all around you. Yes, that's it. Bingo. Don't, don't miss the party. Don't miss the boat. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. This is real, not for play play. Don't miss it. Glory to God. All right, y'all. Share the broadcast for me, and I'll catch you the next time around. Good night. Sweet sleep. Sweet dreams. I'll see you soon. Thanks for diving with me. Lady Catherine, I'm so happy to see you. I love you, lady. You all take care. Bye.